Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's show, we are looking at the new NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit. Let's get started. The Nano comes in this little green box. I like the packaging on this. Here's some instructions. Oh, and a little stand. Let's put the stand together. Box, box, box. That's what they say in Formula One. Now we have a place to put our little Jetson. Let's open up our Nano. A tight little fit. And there it is. The Jetson Nano Developer Kit consists of two parts. The first part is the Jetson Nano Module, which is outlined by this heat sink here, this card. It consists of a quad-core ARM A57 processor with a 128 CUDA core GPU, four gigabytes of 64-bit LPDDR4 RAM, and the storage is by micro SD card. The Jetson Nano Module connects to the Developer Kit carrier board using a 260 pin SODIMM style connector. Let's take a look at the bottom here. You can see it's fairly straightforward. Oh, silk screens, gotta like that. There are no rubber feet, so that's why we have a paper stand. Let's take a closer look. On the front of the Jetson Nano Developer Kit, we have a gigabit ethernet connector, four type A USB 3 connectors, an HDMI connector, and a display port connector. You can drive two monitors simultaneously with the Jetson Nano. There are two alternatives for providing power. You can provide power through this USB micro connector, five volts at up to two amps, or you can use this barrel connector and provide up to four amps at five volts. Jumper selectable, you make the choice. On this side, we have the jumper which selects the power connector. We have a camera connector which supports IMX219 camera modules, such as the Raspberry Pi Camera V2 and Leopard Imaging's Nano Camera, which is made specifically for the Jetson Nano. Here we have an A-pin header to control power and reset, and the back header is a serial UART. On the back of the dev kit, we have a PoE header. This is power over ethernet. This exposes any voltages present from the ethernet connection. Underneath the module is a M2 key E connector, which provides access to things like wireless by adding a card. And also there's a micro SD slot underneath here. We'll take a closer look at that. And finally, on this side of the board, we have the 40-pin GPIO connector. There's now a standard Jetson GPIO Python library for accessing the pins. And in its default configuration, it's a standard Raspberry Pi type of pin layout. If you want to add some extra cooling to your Nano, you can bolt on a 40 millimeter fan. And here's a PWM header to drive it. The micro SD card I'm going to use, it has 64 GBs. I do not have a slot for a micro SD card in my laptop, so I'm going to use this little adapter to flash it. You can flash the SD card using Windows, a Mac, or Ubuntu. Let's switch over to the laptop. To get started, we visit nvidia.com, Jetson Nano start. Getting started. Next step, items for getting started. We will need a micro SD card and a micro USB power supply. It looks like we need a good micro USB power supply. Next, write image to the micro SD card. Now you can run this for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Let's run it for Windows. First, we need to download the Jetson Nano Developer Kit SD card image. Save target as. It has already been downloaded. It is a very large file, 5.5 gigabytes. Next, instructions for Windows. Format your micro SD card. 
Download, install, and launch. Okay, let's try that. The usual threats, I ignore them. I accept my fate. Let's save this puppy. Let's open the folder. Here's our program. And let's try uncompressing it. It looks like it's wizarding. I guess that's good. Next, I accept my fate. Next, <laughs> next, install please. I would very much like it to make changes. Let's launch the program. Very much so. Let's go back to our instructions. I guess we need to insert the card. <laughs> Let's try that. Select card. E. Okay, quick format. It will erase all data on this card. Do you want to continue? Yes, please. Okay. What's the next step? Use Etcher to write the Jetson Nano Developer Kit SD card. Download, install, and launch Etcher. Detecting OS. Let's download this. Let's save this. A license agreement. Another surprise. I agree. Oh, we're getting somewhere. It looks like it's money time. We select the image. Then we insert our micro SD card. I've already done that. And then we will write it. So let's try that. Select image. Downloads. Jetson Nano. Open. Flash. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, please. I will be patient. Validating. Flash complete. One successful device. Close this baby. You need to format the disk in drive N before you can use it. Do you want to format it? No. Leave me alone. <laughs> Seems pretty persistent about this. There's a lot of drives. Okay, let's remove the micro SD card from the laptop here. And we will finish setting up our developer kit. We have our micro SD card here. Let's put it into the Jetson. The contacts go up. You should feel the little spring and hear a click. We're going to use the five volt jack here. So let's put a jumper here to disable the USB power port. Now I'm going to bring it over to the desk, hook up a mouse, keyboard, HDMI monitor, and ethernet, and then apply the power. Let's switch over to the screencast. Okay, let's plug this puppy in. Please review and accept the following licenses. Important notice, read carefully. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my. Close. I accept the terms of these licenses. Sure, why not? Continue. English. Okay, continue. Your keyboard layout. English US. Continue. Where am I? Los Angeles. Your name. Jetson. Hacks. Choose a password. It's weak. 
Log in automatically. Continue. It appears to be rebooting. All right, we have our desktop. We have our web browser, links to the forums. This looks pretty fun. And now we have our desktop. It's demo time. This is the Ocean FFT simulation. There's a camera connected to the Nano and it's running in this little cheese webcam program. Our second demo is the CUDA smoke particles demo. It's a GPU intensive task. We can rotate it in 3D space. Let's take a look at our second set of demos. In our second set of demos, we have VisionWorks demos. This is a Huff Transform. Start that up. You can see that it does edge detection. Let's do a motion estimation demo. I like this one because it has doggies. This estimates which direction objects are moving. And let's do an object detection demo. We're following this white truck. We can change that. Now you should have a feel for the Jetson Nano Developer Kit. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.